is it a little quickie on good piping design practices. I saw this done by an experienced uh, piping designer, although, <coughs> excuse me, he had a two inch line going out of here and the main continuing on the same size. This is dead wrong. It's a booger to balance. Just don't do that. This is the preferred, this is the way it should be done. And if you do it this way, there's a uh, minimum distance recommended of straight run uh, diameter length here, or what you need for expansion and contraction of the pipe. And these ta there's tables for this. If you're doing it manually, they can be found in ASHRAE systems or carriers piping design, probably done in pipe stress analysis, but these are the two methods you want to use. Bullhead tees. Try to avoid these if possible. Um, terrible head loss. Vibration. Um, this is the preferred method. Now, sloped pipe. Let's get over here in an ISO view. This is a 90 degree socket. This angle is impossible. This cannot be fabricated. It won't go in that way. It's going to go in this way, 90 degrees, and this will not be vertical. If you want this vertical, you have to add another fitting so this can be rotated into the vertical. Okay, let's take a look at these in uh, ISO. Here's the correct way of doing a sloped pipe with a vertical rise with a 45 degree fitting put in here. This is the incorrect method. This one's impossible to build. This is what it's going to come out like if you use a 90 degree socket. This won't be vertical. Uh, this little setup right here, here's the ISO for it. I've got a rolled offset here to bring the bottom of pipe elevations to the same with an eccentric reducer. So if you're on a rack, they all got the same bottom of pipe. I have a video that shows you how to do a rolled offset like this. I also have a video that shows you the dynamics of sloped pipe and how these things work. Check them out. Hope this helped. Thank you for watching. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Appreciate it.